A remarkable form of communication in the 60s and 70s was by telegraph. The telegraph was one of the fastest means of sending a message to recipients. It was brief and efficient, involving trained technicians. It was very exciting for a student to receive a telegraphic money order, commonly referred to as mandat while in school. The telegraphic money order was a statute symbol for students. Mr. Chunkwe had a remarkable experience with the telegraphic money order. Now, I give an example. When I was in secondary school, uh, when the GCE was uh, about to be written, I went to secondary school in Yaoundé. My father was working with the highways in Bamena. Now, I managed to get my uncle to call highways and inform him that I needed money in school. Now my father had to send this money through what we call money order telegram. Now money order telegram is what they call uh, manda telegraphic. It's a, tele a tele it's a money order but sent like a telegram in that my father went to the post office in Mankon, paid money at the post office counter, gave my address and the same day the content of that money order was transmitted to Yaoundé and they came to school and served me and of course you can imagine what I meant. I came and read in class that I had a telegram. The first thing is that everybody was, how? How can you have a telegram? Because telegrams were meant for urgent messages. When I came, I took the, 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 the telegram, I opened, I realized it was a, a money order. So I had to get somebody who had an ID card because as a student, we had only school cards. I went up to the discipline master who sent somebody, sent the teacher with me. We went to the, to, to the center post office in Yaoundé and collected the money. And of course, when I came back to class, <laughs> it was all uh, <laughs> fun. I mean, I was moving with my shoulders very high that I received a telegram in school. So I, I, amongst my friends, I was a great person. Also in the 60s and 70s, it was very exciting for students to receive letters from friends, relatives, and other correspondents. A student was considered a hero if he or she received letters while in school. It was very momentous when these letters were distributed in the refectory at meal times, those who received letters were hailed as friends were anxious to discover the content of these letters. And of course, that made the difference. When you were in secondary school, normally every Saturday you come to school to receive letters. And if you were not lucky, or if you hadn't somebody around to post a letter to you, you're more careful. I mean, in the, in the refectory, you sit down, they call your name, Mr. Ngo Peter Kings, a letter from you. Sometimes we were, some of us who did not receive these letters, went back, wrote the letters, put in an envelope with a stamp, and give it back to the refectorian or the senior prefect, who will come and call your name in the, in the refectory that you have received a letter. I went to the secondary school in my main village, Jesus Mary Baptist College, Ndu, where the reception of uh, a letter was something else. The restaurant prefect used to go to the, to the post office and collect the letters of the school. And it is when people are all seated there that they were reading the names of those who had letters to take. And bet you, those who received letters were, were seen as exceptional people. And in, in fact, we, uh, at the end of Form 5, we, a group of us from the village we were not receiving letters. We decided that we had to go to high school very far away from the village so that we can receive letters and money orders too. And they will read and you stand up to like a guy.